Tip 6 music is so good. Yeah, they're just vibing. And if I can if I can keep them from attacking me, I will obviously if they keep attacking me and I don't have the ability to from the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his like first a, a upright play, steps, uh, you have like come far. The Kree, now which begins are like your super greatest quest. Diplomacy focus, from this early just, like, cradle of civilization, not destroying barbarians the stars. at all, unless Shah of Shahs, they literally can't become who a city rose state. From like I like that idea. So to become the wealthiest idea. king in the world, so, yeah, we so call the detailed. You. This Sweep like. your forces get, across see, the land, and with fire and working. steel, set the world alight once Hello, more, Coconut. Pop that we may better food. see the gold Back shine by yeah. the flames glow. And then, Paradisa was the early empire in the ancient era. So yeah, this will be interesting. Never, never really played Persia. The thing with Persia is that Having iron in your civilization makes or breaks it, right? If you don't have it, this is useless. This is fucking garbage if you don't have iron. So... We'll see. Okay, so yeah. This is another civ that is very much... focused on internal treatments. So... My Iranian friends would be mad if I didn't vote Persia. True. Also, death to America. Yeah. Um. What is that? Torres del Pain Pond. I do not speak. Uh, whatever that is. I actually don't know where that's from. That's why they have the Civilpedia. To Oops. Doesn't tell me where it is. Oh. Park it. So Chile. Okay. Cool. So, Spain. I, I fucking suck at Mexican, Spanish. I can't speak. My <laughs> Are you a fan of Elon Musk now? So I'm definitely going to move over here then. We'll waste one turn, but that'll give me a 2-2 uh, city with access to two four tiles immediately. Uh, yeah, that's, that's freaking great. I'm going to be mad if none of these are iron. There's a lot of hills here. Okay, and we're by a coast, which... One, two, three, four. I can settle there as well. See, this is this is why the the PC version is superior. Yet detailed map tax. Ooh, goody hut. Okay, so what am I gonna build first? Probably a scout. A scout's always a good idea to settle first or to build first. Obviously, there's a few exceptions. Um, like when you're playing, um, Mons uh, not Mansa Musa. Oh my god, why can't I think of... Not Menelik. Oh my god. It starts with an M. Do I want to found a religion in chat? Yeah, you know what? I will. Let's go for a religion. Actually... benefit from religion at all? I mean, he is kind of like a culture sieve. And religion is good for culture victories. So yeah, we'll, we'll try and go for religion. Oh my, man threshold. Yeah, 
40 gold. Not the best. Could be worse, though. Ooh, Hattusa. First meet, too. So, they want a trade route. Very cool. Very cool. We'll definitely do that. Like, even though I benefit from internal trade routes, having Hattusa... So what does Hattusa provide me with Susan Tree? Uh, provides you with two of each strategic resource per turn that you have revealed, but not improved? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Hattusa will be very useful. Um, I think Monument Scout Builder? Sounds good. Ooh, first meet on Singapore, too. What does Singapore want? Singapore wants a story of a great profit. So oh, very good. I'm going for a really good. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So there's a continent split, so I'm guessing more landmass up there. Doesn't look like there's any more over there. That's fine. Alright, let's move them there so you can go through there. God, these tiles are so good. This is such a great freaking wonder to spawn near. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna explore with my warrior, why not? It's a bad idea, I should probably bring my warrior back and send the scout up there since this is icy land. So yeah, let's actually do that. Let's bring him back, just in case there's barbarians down here. Johannesburg, oh my god. First me- so either there's someone way up there who hasn't scouted down yet, or I'm like on a small little island by myself. So we'll see. But that's very cool. That's for meets for all of them, so that means uh, plus one production in the capital, plus one production in the capital, so that's two production right there. And then one science in the capital for having one uh, envoy sent to Hattusa. So that's cool. Elon Musk fanboys be like, do you know he literally invented tunnels? Yeah. A physician without a knowledge of astrology. Alright, cool. So actually, we're gonna skip the scout for now. We're gonna go fully sight. Uh, no, I'm not gonna eat one of these tiles. I will eat this tile, though. Ooh, I could get a plus four. Four, but that's that's <sighs> now nah, you know what let's do a builder then let's do a builder mining then holy site hopefully I'll have enough money by then Is best. There we go. So, yeah. Discipline. Good God King for now. Why am I getting it? Oh yeah, God King. Though. How did I? How am I at six gold per turn? Though. Okay. Oh, there is a sieve right there that just. Didn't scout down soon enough. They must be scouting north then. That's fine. Hells in the woods. Yeah, we're gonna go up there. Uh, yeah, let's get this so we can get the boost to. 
Ah, I'm just shy. We'll put one turn into a settler, then we'll buy buy that tile to get the holy site. Oh, nope. Okay, actually, so I need a I need a remember to do that before I get the thing. Catherine de Medici, to the north. That's fine. Yeah, I definitely have to buy, all, buy the tile next turn, because once I research that, that tile will be more expensive. Fun fact, tiles get more expensive the more text you research. So, we're going to buy the tile now. We're going to put the holy site down, get that plus four. Solve that out. Who deserves more credit than the wife? Cool, unlock mining. So yes, now you see if I were to buy a tile now. These are now 80. So. That's a little fun fact for you. I think... Let's go... Let's go pottery, I guess. Boost irrigation. I will actually switch off one of the productions to grow my population faster. Because up until like five ish population, you really want to focus on food. Right. Because at about five ish population, you can build a. You can get two districts and build a settler without having to worry. So, it's generally how I like to do it. So, I can get a city there and a city there. So, let's pin there, let's pin there. Uh, probably settle this city next, so that fucking Paris doesn't forward settle me. Uh, we're gonna heal up, we're not gonna destroy it, because I do want to get the boost towards bronze working. So we're just gonna farm the barbarian there. Uh, we're definitely gonna build some mines. These are going to turn into Every two five lives by exchanging. So, yeah, oh, it's going to be freaking poggers, as the kids say. Uh, we'll go to craftsmanship. got some error score from that because it's a some districts require a plus four some are plus three i think holy sun might be plus three uh and you get a uh, you get bonus uh error score for that taruga oh Sandok of Korea. Oh, I forgot to send a thing to. Oops. Well, we'll send one to Korea instead of Paris. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, both of them are pissy at me. That's fine, though. It's fine. I thought Clay must feel. Okay. I can safely raid this. I'll still heal up because this doesn't count as like movement. So I'll get 40 gold, spawn in a barbarian to fight. 
get the boost to craftsmanship, so now... So yeah, I'm getting 12 production from just three tiles. That's freaking bonkers this early in the game. Uh, yeah, I'll just automate exploring you now. Um, I'm good with what I have, so I'm not gonna have a ton of cities. I will have to, I probably will go to war with, with Paris. Ooh, okay. I'm actually gonna fortify and hope that these warriors don't kill the slinger right away. Yep, there we go. Glad I waited. Okay. We didn't get the, the settler. That's fine. Um, what do I want to get though? What do I want to get? Not a lot of plantation options. Um, not a lot of fishing boat opportunities. Like two. Could do divine spark. Get that holy. Uh, get that profit quicker. No camps really either. I have one of that. So yeah, I'm thinking could do God of Craftsmen, though I don't have any strategic resources, so Yeah, I'm I'm thinking Divine Spark. Get the get more great profit points away. Ooh. Or with Paris. I am okay with that. More than okay. I'm gonna heal up. Because again, I want the boost of bronze working. Then let's do a trader, because we want to send one to Singapore, I believe. Let's get a granary, get a little more food and housing, and then a shrine. I could do Stonehenge. Ooh, do I want to do Stonehenge? I can't afford to do Stonehenge right now. Okay. That's fine. We'll get the trader and then we'll contemplate doing Stonehenge. Without craftsmanship. Uh do state workforce, because we already got the boost for it. Can I kill him? No. So I'm actually going to skip my turn this time because if I send that... Well, no, because the warriors will force them to stay in place. Never mind. No, I'm doing that. And that barbarian scout, if he crosses the river, can't move more than that. Alright, so we're just going to fortify... I don't want them to get the kill on it. You saw nothing, chat. You saw nothing. nothing. I didn't just lose a settler because the city-state moved away the warrior that could cause... I, no, that didn't happen. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age to Come man on. taking his Coconut. first upright steps you have come far. Welcome back. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards that the stars. <laughs> that, Shah of Shahs. That sucked. Who rose from bondage to become the wealthiest king in the world. We call to you. Sweep your forces How across you the land. Everything? And I... with fire and steel, okay. set the world alive. 
part of the reason why I'm streaming. Okay, so that's what it was. It's because I moved there, he moved away so he could go up and then over. So if I move there, I should be fine. Also, I'm gonna attack him this time. Then he could only go there, then he... Oh, he crossed over though. And I can't get to him. Oh no, I didn't think this through again. Oh, uh, I gotta hope the scout doesn't... I'm gonna have to fucking reload again, aren't I? Oh. Oh, alright, let's get Johannesburg. Am I gonna have to reload again? I trust you enough to not take advantage. Would you like to whisper me on maybe basic card details so you can order food? Check back in 20 minutes, whether or not I... I, mean, I would definitely not take advantage. I, I literally used to have a friend who we shared our card information with each other. Long track. Hello. Lord to close wreck just subscribed. Stopping by to say hi, I yeah, yeah. Hi! Ay ay ya! Hello, Lawtrek. Uh, Alright, let's see if I lose this settler. I did not! Oh my god. Can I get lucky again? Because <laughs> he might move back. Scouts normally don't go for settlers. We'll see. I got the kill on that barbarian, so we'll have to switch off that attack. I am offering you did not ask. That's true. That is true. Gatsby, thank you for the nine Gatsby, month yeah, resub. Gatsby, 22 just subscribed. That's a, it's a Twitch baby, as, as people like to call it, I guess. And Lawtrek, thank you for gifting a sub and to Coconut. Coconut just subscribed. Lawtrek, Lawtrek gifted a tier 2 sub to Emma Coconut. They have given five gift subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna alert. We're gonna see if I lose this. <laughs> if I lose this again, I'm gonna frickin'. <sighs> oh, yes! Oh, thank god he moved forward. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Okay, and we settled on a strategic, or not a strategic, we, we settled on sugar. So we immediately get an amenity from that, a luxury resource. Which each luxury resource, just the one copy, provides one amenity to four cities. Unless you're Montezuma. That's who I was trying to think of earlier. Montezuma. Who gets... 100 stubs and subs and streamer watches Lily's HP video. Over... Yeah, 24 hour stream! Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know what? I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. Think I won't. Think I won't. Uh, let's create a fucking. Lily, who? Lily. Um. What? What's her last name? Not not orchid if you orchid if you're thinking that not that one. Lotrek, the... Lotrek tipped forty five dollars. Take care of yourself, I yeah yeah. Whoa! 
Star Trek, thank you. Simpson, there we go. Lily Simpson. Uh, I used to have a, a former YouTube name deleted that because I think 4chan people were harassing them. Uh, thank you so much, Law Trek. I'm definitely gonna uh, order food. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely gonna order food. Um, also, so because of that, thank you, uh, Law Trek. Um, Coconut, I do not have to take you up on that offer, but thank you very much. That does mean a lot. Um, yeah, that's a lot of video. What was I doing? I was trying to do text. I'll just use the content warning. I still can. I know, but I don't. I don't know. I feel. I can, yeah, I can save the forty-five for another day. I don't know. Uh, text one hundred subs, and I stream the entire ten-hour video of Lily Simpson on. Harry Potter. I know it is capitalism the source of the feeling I shun. I know. Uh, make that visible. Oh, I can make that. There we go. A hundred subs and I stream the entire 10 hour video of Lily Simpson on Harry Potter. Oh, wait, hold on. In one stream. There we go. <laughs> Shrink that a little. There we go. Uh, I've got more money these days since I'm not spending my entire paycheck uh, week on week. <laughs> Understandable. It's capitalism stealing attention away from Joanne's capitalism and that's good. No, but, but it's not worse. Yeah, a little present from one poor to another. Thank you, Law Trek. Ah, uh, you know what, Coconut? You know what? Fine, I'll take you up on that offer. Also, because I know how to get, uh, granted it's not vegan what I'll be eating, but uh, I know how to make it dirt cheap because there's a mcdonald's meal for exactly like six dollars so if i get two of that i just heat hit the threshold for doordash's uh free delivery uh, and then it'll let me whisper whisper Oh, did it actually send? Okay, well, I don't know if... Don't want you skimping, whether you have something you like. Yeah, well, look. It's a hefty meal. It's honestly more food than I can eat without feeling incredibly full. Okay, I don't know if that's... I might have to get off stream manager to... Okay, it's. Am I gonna have to open a. I'm gonna have to open a thing. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me do this in the game real quick while I'm doing. 
doing that. Let's build a monument, because that's always a good thing to build. Let's go to Twitch. Do, do, do. What am I gonna... Yeah, well, that's fine. stream because no I did not see her it's for some reason the okay that was okay now I can see it I can't see it on mobile for some reason okay okay yeah I can see it now for some reason, I can't see it on mobile. Skipping dessert, the most important part. I hot take. I I'm not a huge dessert person anymore. I used to be. I used to be all about dessert. Like my my sweet tooth like went away. I don't I don't know why. Oh. My scout just found a tribal village. Speaking of, how are we on great profits? Am I- I'm seriously the only person earning great profit points? Damn. And no one's recruited any, right? Okay then. I'm more than okay with that. Okay, I can read that again. I need to switch off bronze working, because now it is at the point where when I get the boost, it'll auto-complete. Let's go. Let's let's find some horsies. Let's see if we got Behold any horsies. The wonders of the Holland heavens Bay! And earth. Hell yeah. Holland Bay is a great fucking uh, natural wonder. And of course, it's by fucking Korea. Ooh, no, it's not by Korea, it's by... Well, I'm definitely going to be attacking the French. Ho ho ho. Uh... Later on. Okay. I will be attacking the French. Uh, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully I can get some fucking... Uh, one of these is gonna like one-shot it. Fuck. Maybe I can get lucky and they don't... I knew that was going to happen. F I'm never getting this fucking third barbarian kill. This is ridiculous. And now it's going to be the one that fucking clears it. I'm mad. I'm mad as hell. Oh. I'm mad as hell. A strong economy begins with a strong, a strong economy. Uh, cool. We can switch to that. Get some more. Pro Actually, I'm good on production. Let's get more gold. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. Uh... Fun fact, it's baked into our DNA as Brits to hate the French. And the older slash more nationalist you are, the more you hate them. Yeah, no wonder why Cell hates them so much. Uh, 
get a big Chinese delivery and have food for days. I don't actually think there's like any Chinese places around here. I am I am in a currently in a place that is not a lot of food varieties in that regard, at least for I'm sure there are some, but just not on DoorDash. Did I type something wrong at some point? Yeah, there's an extra number in there somewhere. I don't know where. Uh... Do I want to get the government plaza now? Yeah, let's get the government plaza now. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I think I have... Let me double check DMs. Might have to send a friend request first. I don't know. I don't exactly know how the supposed DM things work in Discord of what they actually stop and don't stop. Whenever I load up Civ these days, I do it just to play absolutely wacky games with all my modded Civs. Big Boss, Nega, Belvedere, <laughs> Theresa May, they're all there, here. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've never actually done a modded Civ. I'm always... I don't know why. I just never have. Like, I, like all the mods I use are, like, purely aesthetic. Or, like, UI improvements. If there are no dogs in heaven. There are no dogs in heaven. Did I roll high? No, I didn't roll high. Uh, literally like two health left. Fuck off. Uh, let's get writing, I guess. Gotta manually control this scout because that fucking barbarian's gonna stop it from auto exploring. Actually, no, I don't want to do it. Well, you know what? I'll do a settle up to five turns, chat. Don't let me forget that I have to take that settle off uh, when it has one turn left. escapes. Also, there's way more land over here than I was expecting. Holy shit. No, stop running away! Let me kill you! I'm just gonna heal up there, actually. Doo 
Not sure uh, if I like the art design they went with for the leaders in Civ 6. I actually do like it. DM on Discord. Message requests. There we go. Make sure it's not pointing towards the camera. Okay, now I see where the extra number came in. I don't think that's actually going to work because it requires the zip code and I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the UK uses zip codes. So it's, we'll just, it's fine. You sent me the zip, didn't you? Am I just, oh my god, I accidentally backed out of it. Am I blind? I am blind. Oh my god, what am I? God damn my five. I swear if this fucking barbarian escapes my clutches. Someone built the writing is easy. Look back over the past with its chain. Oh, yeah, no. It, don't mind me. I'm switching between things. Um, I, I'm blind because I don't... S oh, there it is. Oh, that's the... Oh. I think I got him on the ropes. I think he can only go there or there.
Yeah, it's 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 not working for some reason. That's fine. That's fine. Cause it's fine. It's fine. You don't need to worry about it. But thank you for the offer. Let's build a campus. Let's build it there. Let's get a granary after that. Let's get. Money. Hold on. Send you to Taruga. Taruga, Hatusa, Singapore, Johannesburg. Okay, that one. That one didn't really fit. Bronze Finally. is the mirror of Did I get iron anywhere? Yes, I live in America. Which is probably why it's not working. Did I get iron anywhere? I swear to god, there's no iron. Oh, there's no fucking iron. All the way up there? Are you kidding me? Oh my... Hellgate Jamie, thank you for the... Hello, hey, James, six James, month resub. Also, love the new name. I remembered. I know. I remembered. Right, we're gonna build Edamaningi. God, the production in this city is bonkers. I love it. <sighs> Maybe irons. Let's. No, I ain't, no, you keep, no, there's no, I, I swear to God. Is PayPal an option on DoorDash? It might be. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me double check. Yes, it is, because I have a PayPal linked up to it. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Also, I will... Uh... Here's a great profit. Wow, I can't believe nobody is getting a religion. That's bonkers to me. I'm on, I'm on immortal, or not immortal difficulty, um, emperor difficulty, third highest. That's strange. This city doesn't have a lot of production though. Um, yeah, I would say tr transferring the money would probably be easier. Money. 
All right. Uh, Law Trek, since you give, gave forty-five dollars, what what religion name do you want? I'm I'm letting you choose a religion name. And which icon you want? You got crab, like an ox, elephant, lion, fishies, scorpion, snick, whatever the fuck that is, palm frond. I don't know. I don't even think that's the proper word. Um, river peacock, maybe butterfly or dortle. Uh, all the other ones already have pre pre built names because they're real religions. Buddhism, Catholicism, Confucianism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Protestantism, Shinto, Sikhism, Taoism, Zoroastrianism. I, d I do think it's really cool that Zoroastrianism is still around because it's like one of the first recorded like quote-unquote official religions right because obviously people had beliefs before then but like Hello, Lizard. Hello, Jess. All right, we got to get some shout outs. Shout out, Lizard technically was here first. And then when that is over, we'll shout out Jess. Hello, Jess. How you doing? How you doing, Lizard? How's everybody doing? Okay, sorry, I'm just uh, doing some DMs back and forth because uh, Coconut is offering to buy me some dinner. Um, Nephew gave you a cold, but I'm alive. Oof. That is that is the one good thing about this year of not having to go anywhere. Uh, I didn't have to deal with sick children. Uh, Lizard is surviving. You also surviving through the very generous help of every all all the viewers who generously helped me and the very kind. Uh, big melon lady who gave me a place to stay because yeah <laughs> only no the shout out isn't active anymore let me do the just shout out okay oh, did law trek did law trek leave okay well then uh coconut you can choose the religion then I technically have two PayPal's. That's my personal PayPal, so I have to check the personal PayPal. Oh god, taxes is gonna be rough this fucking year. I know it is! It's getting so long, I can put it in a ponytail now. And actually have it stay. 
This is the longest it's ever been. The last last time I had long hair, it was like just. What am I choosing? The name of the religion. You get to choose any name and icon. Yeah, from from the crab to, to the turtle. Lizard just subscribed. Lotrek, Lotrek gifted a tier one sub to Tukula Lizard. Lotrek, thank you for gifting a sub to Lizard channel. and to Jess. Thank you. Whoa, Jess just subscribed. Lotrek, Lotrek yes, you can choose the butterfly. One sub you can choose they have given the seven name. gift subs in the channel. There we go. Now the shout out worked. Hey, there we go. Preparing your order. See. Ayaya is imperfect. That is the religion we have chosen. Alright, what are we gonna do? I'm thinking culture. I think I'm just gonna. Full, full head-on to religion. We don't really have a great way to get relics, and not super relic-based. Um, warrior monks are terrible. I don't, I don't know why every sit like unless you found your religion first, you can almost never get warrior monks, and I don't know why. I guess it's just the culture bomb. Because warrior monks are terrible. They're not actually good for fighting. I guess technically very early on, so I guess when you found a religion they'd be powerful, but th it's not worth it to me. So I'm thinking choral music go full on. Yeah, because international trade routes is going to be useless, because we're going to be doing mostly... This game, have you the religion perk that rewards you for always being at war? No. Um... They, they made war much more um, there, there are a few uh, things that give like benefits to war but like these these are like the full-on this is it for the beliefs and never played a Civ game uh, I I personally think it's a lot of fun work ethic is good but boring. Um, I think we'll go choral music, uh, and you pretty much have to choose your building. Yeah, these are well different to Civ 5. Civ, Civ 6 really changes it up, um, in a lot of ways I think for the better. Um, I think I'm going to do Hwat, get the uh, plus 2 science. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, the, the thing that I really love is that they changed up culture. So in Civ 5, you had like the, you know, you had your choice of things and you put points into it or whatever. And like, that's how culture worked. Uh, but in Civ 6, they just made civics a its own tech tree. And I really like that change. I really like that change. Uh, they also made it so that you want more John the Baptiste, yeah. Yeah, no, they use they use great they use real great people. You, uh, if I was the second person, I would have gotten uh, the Buddha. Uh, nowhere near close to getting uh, Euclid, but yeah, they use they use real people in it. It's 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 like half historical of like hey here's some names here's some cool things kind of basing things around it and then the other part is just it's a game you can do whatever the fuck you want kind of thing whoops why can you not auto explore oh because that warrior way down there Ugh, fine i'll manually move it Oh, I can get a city there too. Yeah, and the other thing that they changed Politics is that is the art of the uh, you no longer 
build everything in your city center. You actually have to build districts and then build buildings in those districts so that... Um... Oh yeah, they they had they have the Pantheon belief still. Um, in fact, what is my Pantheon? I chose Divine Spark, so I'm getting extra great people points. Um, yeah, they have some good Pantheons. Uh, normally, I go for the one that gives you culture for... Um, plantations but I didn't have a lot of I don't have a lot of plantations like I have one two three and I won't get those right away yeah the free settler is cool but also kind of annoying how OP it is it is and I wasn't able to get it this time yeah it's the the free the free settler is OP um, but when you play on the higher difficulties, good luck ever getting that. Unless you are like Russia, Mansa Musa, if you get really lucky and get a relic. Like unless you're like those three situations, you're not you're not getting you're not getting a free settler. Like I had pretty high on I had the second Pantheon and I couldn't get it. Uh, yeah. Uh, another thing to talk about, because I will talk about this in terms of... Si Ooh, Vietnam! Hell yeah. Yeah, I like Vietnam. Vietnam's cool. Can we be friends? I don't want to go to war with you. I want to be buddies with you and go to war with... Uh, Paris. But yeah, norm normally I, I go for the, um, either the pastures or the, the, um, I like to say I practice militant Flasher, you can mysticism. be hard to befriend, yeah. I'm absolutely but sure of once you befriend them, they're basically they friends for the rest of the game. Um. See if I can see why they hate me. Yeah, just first impressions. We did send them a delegate. We can send open borders. That should help. Uh, yeah, I'll do one gold a turn if it means you'll like me. Um, just give a gift. Just throw a hundred gold at them. I, I found that's like really useful for trying to get people to befriend you. Literally, <laughs> both in real life and in video games, throwing money at people really works. I want Hattusa back. Yep, look at that, already neutral. Let's see, let's see how our relations going so far. Yeah, plus six for a favorable trade deal. Just throw a hundred dot, a hundred gold at a sieve and it'll help get them to like you. Uh, yeah, sending a delegation. Obviously, no, no sieve is as great though as Gilgamesh. Or as the Civ 6 community likes to call him, Gilgabro. Because Gilgamesh has it distinctly in his code. I don't think it's a mistake. Some people think it's a bug, but I think it's intentional. You can always befriend Gilgabro the turn you meet him. You can always friend him. He will always be your friend the first time you meet him. It has to be the turn you found him, though. Because if you wait for the turn after, he might hate you. But if you send a friend request the very turn you meet him, he will always be your friend. So that's why he's Gilgabro. He's also not that great as a Civ to play. Yes, you can play as Gilgabro. He's not super great to play. Um, 
His his benefits are literally just ancient era and after the ancient era he kind of sucks. <laughs> so he's really he's really good really early on and then immediately falls that off with the renaissance era. Didn't Gil infamously have no friends except Enkidu? Yes. But that's the idea, right? You become the Enkidu to, to Gilgabro. And if you ever betray his trust, he will never be your friend again. Like, every other Civ, you can, like, kind of, like... Oh, except Vietnam. Vietnam is also one that, uh... That's the other one. If you ever betray a Batryu friendship, uh, she will never be your friend again. Oh yeah, Gilgabro will stay your friend if you inflict a lot of grievances. Yeah. It's pretty much... As long as you keep renewing friendships, he'll be cool with you fucking nuking people. Like, he doesn't give a shit. As long as you're friends, he doesn't give a shit. Everyone else will be like, mm, Our friendship ended and I don't know about being friends with you I anymore. You nuked somebody and Gilgabro's just like... We're friends! We're friends! We're friends! <laughs> and that's why he's Gilgabro, because he just... he's always your friend. Friend first turn, friend forever. And hey, look at that. Batryu, we're friends now forever as well. Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower That's why that his unit is a chariot, he's ride or so die, that true. May make a name for ourselves. Um, and there's a whole lot of die with that chariot because holy shit. The war cart is so fucking broken, OP. Right, so, because to put it in perspective for the non-Civ people who, who don't really know, um... Yeah, that is Sean Bean. They got Sean Bean for Civ 6. Um... The war cart... So, war cart is technique is considered cavalry. And cavalry is strong against melee units, but is weak against anti-cavalry, obviously. But the war cart, the war cart has no weakness to anti-cavalry and is strong. It's stronger than a warrior, the starting unit. So the war cart will pretty much two-shot everything in the early game. <laughs> so it is ride and die. <laughs> Gil Gilgabro's like, ride or die? No, we're ride and they die. <laughs> Alright, let's get some builders out, a trader out, a couple more builders. Uh, cause I need to build the Paradisia, though I will wait, cause we're already way over error score. We have overshot by quite a bit. Ideally, you want to overshoot by none. The man one who hit has exactly how much it gets you into a golden era. The... Uh, because once you go past it, it doesn't benefit you anyway, and there's no way to get those error scores again for a lot of things, right? I'll never get, I can never get, like, founding a religion again for error scores, so it just makes it harder and harder to get um, error score every time you overshoot. Guess we'll just start working on that. Speaking of quick deals, does anyone want to give me iron? No. Well, that scout's dead. Rest in peace. Unless, and oh, well, the archer might go for the heavy chariot. Might view that as a greater threat. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Ugh. Catherine. Nope. Ooh, but the warrior. 
Barbarians, you're silly. You could have you you could have lived if you went after the archer. Ooh, Vilnius. Vilnius, not the first meet though. Hey, look at that! Vietnam and Persia in a golden era. Let's go. Monumentality. Two movement for all builders, and you can purchase uh, builders with faith. And settlers with faith. So, effectively, we're gonna go down to this city. We're gonna stop building these, because I don't need to build them anymore. Do I want to get hanging gardens? Ooh, Oracle. No, we're going to build Oracle in this city. The city is going to be our... Yeah, I'm going to build it here. Then I can put a theater square there. That theater square is going to be so good. What is long-term goal domination? So there's a, there's a few different ways to win. Um, all are a kind of domination, but... Um, so you can either... Capture every capital of every other Civ. That's one way to win. We'll probably not do that. There's the Science Victory, which is basically you become so advanced into space that you win by being the first um, civilization to reach the Andromeda Galaxy, basically. Um, we're probably going to be going for a Culture Victory, which is essentially domination through culture. Right, it is becoming the America of the world, of just the Hollywood of the world, basically, where you just everybody's loving your culture so much that you win that way. Uh, you can also convert every the majority of every civilization to your religion, like the majority of their cities, um, and those are the main ways to win. You can also win through diplomacy, which. I've done on accident a few times. It's not one I've ever really gone for. I might do it with a um, a Cree game because they are very like diplomacy oriented in terms of winning. So yeah, there's there's a, quite a few different ways to win, um, which is really cool. Uh, now we have the struggle of actually being able to place the Paradisia because it requires breathtaking appeal and I have no breathtaking tiles in my city. <sighs> wow. Well, the accidental Diplo victory. Yeah, I got that the other, or I guess technically a couple weeks at this point. The poets have um, been mysteriously silent. Because I was going for a culture victory, cheese. but then for some reason I was like, oh, let me just switch to science. So like, because my overshoot into culture and I would have won that, switched to science, it balanced out, and then I built the um, Statue of Liberty, which gives you four Diplo points, because you need 20 Diplo points to win, and you get Diplo points from, I think there's three wonders you can build that gives you some Diplo points, and then voting in the World Congress with the majority, like what wins when you vote with what's going to win, uh, you get Diplo points that way. Um, which is actually a fun way if they vote you to take away your Diplo points. If you vote for yourself to lose Diplo points instead of losing two, you'll lose the two, but then you'll gain the one for voting with everybody else. So it's a very great way to limit how many Diplo points you lose. Uh, and, and then if you vote with the other things in the majority, you'll get triple points that way. Uh, so yeah, I just accidentally won because I built the Statue of Liberty and was at 16 Diplo points. So it became 20. I was like, oh, okay. I was friends with everybody. I didn't go to war with anyone. I was playing as uh, the new... Oh my god, who is Nzinga? Mbamba? Ah, that's gonna drive me. Fuck. Fuck, I can't think of. I can't think of. I don't think enough, but. Yeah. Congo, yes. The Congo. 
Uh, ooh, I'm actually gonna change my governments now. I was I was holding off on it to not get the error score, but now I can switch to. We're not gonna go to war yet because I have no iron, so I can't really go to war. Yeah, it's um, Nzinga Mvamba of the Congo, uh, which I I I, I never looked it up because I'm curious her relation because. The original leader for the Congo was Mvemba, and then, and I don't remember his last name, and then they added Nzinga Mvemba. So I'm curious how the naming conventions work for uh, them, like, is there a relation at all, or is it just... Yeah, Mbande. played a game as her. She, yeah, she's very, very, very good. If you can get relics, she's super fucking good. Uh, let's go for settlers. Yeah, because I'll, I'll pop out one or two settlers. And then let's go charismatic leader. Do I need any of these? No. Towards wonder building, I guess. Get the oracle a little bit faster. There we go, now somebody's finally going to pick up my order. I've been waiting this entire time. Uh, do 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 do, let's go let's heal off, I'm almost dead. Oh, I, I said I can buy frickin' um, builders and shit like that, and then proceeded to not do that. So, let's buy a trader here, let's buy a builder here. There we go. I'll be good for now. Uh, well, let's just build a farm triangle on these. Uh, because Adam and Ianke provides, um production and science on every marsh in your tie in your empire but it also provides uh production and science on floodplains in the city that it's built in um, so these probably these ones we'll, we'll keep to Masad. but yeah i, I liked uh nzinga uh, Abraham's okay, um, and then Saladin I never got around to really utilizing. I am switching, I am switching to do more war, because that's something that I haven't been, I've been avoiding, but I've been starting to do more, like, war and stuff in my games. Uh, yeah, so you can see that, um, it is glitch, so... You're only supposed to get the two faith and three gold from domestic roots to cities that were not founded by Nader Shah, but for some reason it is. So. That's cool. Still here, but going to lurk for a bit and play Risk of Rain. Enjoy! I've, I've tried to get into it, but not my cup of tea. But I know a lot of people really enjoy it, so I hope you have fun, Jeff. So yeah, that's giving us that's giving us some good yields from that. Uh, move you into there. Have you heal up next turn? Ooh, I can build a Peridasia here. I'm surprised. Why could I build it there? I'm so confused as to Paradisia's. I'm so confused by Paradisia's. I can build one there. Okay, 
I don't understand how paradisias work. Never mind. I thought I did. I heal you up. We can no more have it. Um, okay, since I'm not building a settler right now, I am gonna. S no, because I'm not doing. No, never mind, because I'm not doing. Because I just realized I'm not doing um, work ethic, which gives you production based on adjacency, so I don't actually need the adjacency bonus to go up. Let's work towards monarchy, because monarchy got buffed. It used to be everybody just did Merchant Republic. You pretty much only did Theocracy if you were doing a religious victory. And then the main goal was go for Merchant Republic. Then they buffed monarchy. So monarchy gives you housing and Diplo favor for walls, basically. You get one housing for each level of wall and two diplomatic favor for every renaissance wall um so monarchy is like the way to go it went from being the worst to the best basically um let's get taruga back now you know what? let's get singapore Yeah, because I don't need Taruga now, because I don't have any strategic resources in my cities. I have none, and this is ridiculous. I have no horses, and I have no iron. Like, I, I'm getting iron and, and horses from Hattusa, which, thank God... Um... Oh, I didn't actually extend it. Hold on. Whoop. Alright. Fucking moving moving you off. Yeesh. Yeesh kebibble. Cool. Trading post. Uh, Taruga has declared war on. Oh, do the not Lord go after. All out of what are you doing going after fucking Taruga? Oh, no, because you're at war and. Okay, never mind. Now I know why. Uh, let's get me three. Let's send you to. There. Yeah, sure. Let's buy a builder. That way I can get the boost for masonry. Uh, I'm just so glad I, I figured out how to be able to stream console. Cause, or not console, a PC version of Civ. Cause as much as I like casually playing Civ 6 on console, uh, when I don't want to sit, like, upright and use a mouse and keyboard and shit. Uh, it is. It's not a great experience. When wasteful war... If bread is the first necessity of life... If bread is the first necessity of life... Mine a resource. Do I have any resources to mine? I do not, so I guess we'll just hard build it then. I think that's fine. You playing Civ on uh, marathon settings? No, I've tried. I just, it's too slow for me. Also, hello, Austin. Hello. Welcome in. Now 
we're just playing on standard speed. The only times I really do marathon is when um, I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also, the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. Hey, we got the oracle. Uh, let's get... I could do Ancestral Hall. But I think I want to go to war. So, let's build the Warlord. One. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get some theater squares. Cause my actually my culture's pretty good. I should actually build more sciencey stuff. Uh, let's build a library, and then let's get actually let's do ancient walls first. Um. Let's send one to Vilnius, because I want that extra culture. So yeah, we can upgrade to the Immortal. Get that error score. So the, the Immortal is very interesting. So the Immortal is just a swordsman. But it's a swordsman who's also an archer. which is actually really kind of interesting. Ooh, we're gonna get the, the triangle, not farm triangle. Diamond, farm diamond. Is my food here? No, they're almost at the store. Whoops. So after I build that, we're just gonna pump out some immortals. And then I'm gonna go to war with... Catherine de Medici. Oh, and we're gonna have Singapore on our side and Hattusa. We gotta get Taruga so that I can also get her to, or get them to join the war effort. Uh oh, who'd I lose? Hattusa. Oh, I gotta get Hattusa back. I gotta get Hattusa back. Sometimes the wheel turns. Sometimes the wheel keeps on turning. Oh, she has walls. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, never mind. We're not going to war. We're just not going to go to war this time. Because I'm, I'm not going to fucking fight walls. Fuck that noise. Fuck that. Let's do the Ancestral Hall, I guess. I'm mad. Fucking wall. Ugh, it's because fucking Korea went to war with her right away. And it's on a higher difficulty, so they, they get all that shit quicker. Hmm. My opportunity to go to war was like 40 turns ago. My next opportunity is much later in the game. Well, that stinks. But you live, you learn. I've lived through some terrible things in my life, some of which actually happened. Ha ha ha. 
Um, yeah. Me. Uh, all right, yeah. Let's get researcher now. I need to head to the back. Yeah, this fucking sucks. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh... My gold income's bad this game, actually. That sucks. That sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's place down another district. And then let's pop out uh, a settler. Yeah, let's get great people faster in this city. Uh, move you away from the volcano to heal. <laughs> 30 turns for hor- 30... That's basically 90 gold. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Get some gold income. Don't have a lot of frickin' luxuries either. May the forces yeah, of evil become con- It's like... Let's find luxury resources. Whoops, if I could spell. Yeah, so I need to find some... Some cities, cause uh, I'm not getting a lot of luxuries. I can't sell really any of them. I have, en I have enough to not be for them not to be angry at me. So I guess that's something. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna settle uh, that city next. Right, let's get affluence. Two frames in two hours, it's actually not bad. Yeah, does anyone want iron? Can sell ten to you, cool. Anyone want horsies? Cool. Anyone want open borders? Yeah, one gold. Uh, can I purchase anything? Not oh, luxury resources. Nobody's selling luxuries, of course not. Anyone got any great works writing? No. Okay. No hour of life is wasted. God, Vietnam has the coolest fucking music. I think that's Vietnam's. Fucking love Vietnam's music. So many sets have really great music. Or is that Korea? It's either Korea or... God, I can't remember. I'm trying to remember which ones I hear when it's just Vietnam in my games. Um, let's do... Let's 
do a watermelon, then let's do... Theater Square. Where am I building that theater square? There? Okay, so I could do entertainment complex there, entertainment complex there, theater square here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're also going to manage citizens, swap that tile. So, whoops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build the entertainment complex first. We're gonna build it there. That way, when I build an entertainment complex here, this one, when I build it, will get the plus four uh, and be really good right off the bat. So that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do it. Plus it'll give me amenities for here because, uh, it's needing some amenities. Uh, let's do... Let's do Watermill Temple. Let's found this city. Set you to auto explore. Oh, we can be friends with Batri again. I, I wish there was a way to like auto renew friendships. building blocks of the unit. Like have an option whether or not you want to auto renew, and make it an, a toggleable option. Because sometimes you know you're you're just friends with them to buy time to invade, and other times you actually just want to be friends. Um, I think we're actually gonna build. Right, I never found sailing. Let's do sailing. Uh, I guess we'll start with the ancient walls. I can't believe that. I can't believe I forgot to do sailing. It is not that life assure is. enough gold just straight up buy a galley. Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. One for the air score, no, it's not gonna matter. Uh, and two, so that I can properly improve these without... No, I'm actually gonna switch up. Uh, no, we'll just... That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yo, Hattusa, come back to me. Maybe come back. You can blame it all on me. Hattusa, come back. Besides, I can't place it down now anyway, so... Oh, that's what I should do. I should bring this immortal... It's all papers and full. Cool, cool. Uh, I should bring this immortal down... 
here. Remove that out, move that out, improve that. We can switch off this now, back to this. What do we get? Great Rider. We got Ovid with Metamorphosis and Heroidus. Cool. I also need to... Uh, let's... I'm a missionary. Because I need to get my religion in these cities. I held up. Hey! That turned into Brussels. Very cool. Good for them. Build a Watt. Watt? Okay, that's converting in four turns. Let's convert this city then. Uh, and then we have to wait until we get a uh, thing in there. And all I ask. There we go. After we get the wall, we're gonna build a harbor. We're gonna lock in the price. So. Just like uh, tiles get more expensive the more text you research, districts become more expensive the more cities and texts you found. So if you place it down now, it will always take 160 production, no matter how much. Uh, time has passed. So that is what we are doing. Attack me while I heal. <laughs> cool, so that converted, that converted. Ooh, Paris! France doesn't have a religion. One man's magic. What do I want to research now? I guess that. Uh, cool, now we can build the entertainment complex there. So that way, when I place a theater square there, it's going to be a plus five district. Uh, Confucianism? No, no, no. Hattusa. Hattusa. Baby. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. How did I spend money on that? Oh, right, right. Right click does melee for the immortal. You don't need Confucianism, Hattusa. You need a Yayaism. Ayaya, Ayaya! Oh, there was barbarians down there. They cool, and of course they convert after they kill my uh, thing. So it can't get a city down there, but that's fine. We won't get Edmonds and Scott, but that's fine. Gurus, nah, not worth it. Let's do ancient walls, amphitheater. Can I get an aqueduct? Ah, I don't want an aqueduct if that's the only place I can place it. Ooh! I do some on that. Cool. He'll give me six gold per turn and 104 off the bat and open borders. Cool. Yeah, keep going to war with Sundock. That's fine. Y'all can fight it out.
Hey, my food just got picked up finally. Listen, strange women lying in ponds, distributing <laughs> swords, is no basis for a system of government. You can't expect to wield supreme power just because some watery tar threw a sword at you. <laughs> Monty Python. Uh, cool, so yeah, we're going to Monarchy, which will give us housing per walls and diplomatic favor. And air score. Uh, so we can get a tiny bit of gold from that. Defensive buildings, so limes, limes. That is a Monty Python quote, and it even says as much. Uh, yeah, they do random quotes from random things sometimes. Uh, and it, I mean, it is fitting. for Because you're unlocking mon monarchy, and it's like, you know. Um, okay, I think we can switch off settlers. I'm not building any settlers anytime soon. Um... Caravan series is looking pretty good. Though I could do that and put great writers in. Yeah. That gives us a boost to castles. Everybody's either in a normal or dark age. No one got a golden age of so, well, the civs I've met. Um Yeah, don't do free inquiry. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, military training, sure. Uh, we got Valmiki with uh, Ramayana and the Yaga Ves Vesitha. I don't even know. I don't even know. Hey, here we go, World Congress. So, here's a fun fact for you. The AI will never not vote for minus 50% production cost. They will never not vote for it. Why? Because the AI likes to go to war. And when you're trying to go to war, you want to be able to build uh, units faster. So they're always going to choose that. Easy way to get diplomas diplo points um and then here's another fun fact for you if you ever want to win if you ever see the uh, culture bomb thing vote for yourself twice you will always win because they only ever vote once on that see won it and yeah they always go minus 50 so now i have two diplomacy points rocks in my path i keep them all with them, I shall build my castle. I shall build my castle. Those who in quarrels interpose John must Day. often wipe a bloody nose. Uh. Oh, yes, I do want this. Because that will, where is it? That'll let me build my harbor faster. Which I'm about to build soon. Food's almost here. Okay. Yeah, let's do apprenticeship. Uh, I need to build one more mine. So let's. Right, I can't just straight up buy. Builders with faith anymore. Well, let's move you out. Let's just buy a builder with gold. Uh, I also need more farms. Ooh, here. I have a five lead on that. That's fine. Uh. 
we have both of those. So yeah, let's just go keep it. Feudalism because we will not need to hard build it and we'll be able to get the boost soon. Because I already have what? One, two, three, four, five. I already have five farms. So yeah. I mean, we'll only be saving two turns, but honestly, worth it. Alright, let's get the theater square now. Now, how many turns will it take? Twelve. Alright, let's start building it. But hey, saving two turns means we can spend two turns on something else. And yeah, I'll treat you, I'll give you whatever you want. Switch off feudalism, go navy tradition. So we're, n we're gonna have to hard build that. We're never not. We're never gonna get that. Uh, let's get medieval walls. Get that extra boost. Um, let's pop out a couple builders, and then. Agency after that. This is in a craft. Yeah, because now these are six. So. In democracy, use the feudalism, which will give those even more food. Uh, let's pop in serfdom. We're not building any wonders right now, so that's fine. Yeah, so now these get adjacency bonuses. You know, I could just let them, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them grow. I'm just gonna let them grow. You know what? Fuck it. And then we're gonna send that builder up there. Cause we're gonna make that into a mine. Uh, Cause this city desperately needs production. The Navy has both a tradition the and a Navy. future. In the Navy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Then let's work towards ideology. Ideology. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. We have the three lead on that, so that's cool. Two lead on that, that's cool. I think I'll just hold on to it. Can't really do anything with that envoy, so we'll just save it. 
Lavo sniff sniff. Lavo sniff sniff. Shad. Mushad. Do not know how to properly pronounce that. Uh, do do do. Food is almost here. All oh, right, I'm building a bunch of builders. I actually forgot I was doing that. Um. Right, I need to keep an eye on that because I can't let that be built before. Sniff. What would Brussels give me if I made it towards Wonders? Eh. Mm, that'll be useful when I get to the ability to get alliances. So four turns. Oh, hey, we got another great writer. I'm just getting a bunch of these. As a young boy, my brother Nobunori studied the Chinese classics, and I liked to sit in and listen to his lessons. I found that even when he struggled to understand or memorize passages, I would find them remarkably easy. My father, a well-read man himself, hey, my food is here. often used I to lament right this back, fact, man. saying, Such a shame. A chat. Would that you were born a man. Be good. Ugh, that's rough. Uh, we... I'm gonna switch to... Uh, hold on. We're gonna... Whoop. Whoop. No, hold on. Hold on. Whoop, whoop. Food time. I wanna play some music. As much as I loved being ten years old, I like to think they do. And nothing makes me crush like that Greyhound bus made in bright yellow Wichita. I want to go back down to the pitcher's mound where the midnight oil burns. He told me to grow up while I was throwing up in the Del Mar bathroom stall. It's hard to make amends when your best friends stop returning all your calls. And when you place your hands on either side of my meager frame where the fleas reside with a panicked look on my pallid face, I come through the thorns and thistles, can see shit, so ungrateful, thinking to myself, this isn't happening. And I was just wondering if your sister was alive, what do you think she'd look like in high school? When you said, come on in, the water's fine, I whispered, I don't want to hurt you. And right now I can't help but ask you to the dead grow older too. As much as I love being 10 years old, I like to think they do. Thanks. Wow. Um, this last song I wrote a few years ago on May Day, uh, which is a very special day for me. Um, and there wasn't anything special even going on in town, but there was a picnic that I wanted to go to with my friends, and I was going to get fired if I didn't go to work. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I wrote it about how, how not only in, in these really acute ways when we, you know, when, when us and people that we love are not able to find, you know, safe access to drugs and to Narcan and testing kits and other harm reduction supplies. Um, and when as trans people, we come up against um, um, shortages of hormones and, and people not giving us hormones or just feeling unsafe walking down the street at night um, or when we're forced to give birth or we don't have access to safe abortion. Um, kind of in, in, in those more acute ways, but then also in this general sense when, you know, we have to get up every day and go to work because if we don't do that, um, 
we, we don't get to live inside and we don't have food to eat. And despite the fact that there are more vacant houses than there are homeless people and there's food rotting, uh, and we've been fighting for, for something more fair. And what any politician has done is, is just pour more money into the police and they are bulldozing an old growth forest in, uh, outside of Atlanta to build the largest police training facility that um, has ever existed. Um, and there's just gonna be more and more refugees and, and, and there is so much to go around. And yeah, this song's about freedom. Yeah, they got man at arms. Oh, I'm so glad I uh, braved them to not attack me. <laughs> New grass. <laughs> you don't even know where to sprout and grow. How can I, a drop of dew, vanish away in the air, leaving you alone? What anime characters shout before eating? Uh, okay. Let's see what the Google say. Meaning of <clears throat> Itadakamasu and how it reduces food waste? Often translated as I humbly receive, but in a mealtime setting, it's compared to let's eat bon appetit or oh, thanks for the food. Some even liken it to the religious tradition. Saying grace before eating. Um, the uses of itadakimasu extend far beyond food. And though its roots are ancient, saying the phrase before meals is a fairly recent Japanese custom. Okay. Fucking genius, hell yeah. Mm. 
when American parents say finish your food, there's children starving in Africa. Yep. Yep. I remember that all too well. Oh, I almost forgot about that. It's like that combination of mentality growing up combined with the just abundance of unhealthy food, especially with the low fat craze that sprouted up of, um, do I want to go to war? Sure. Uh, but like the low fat craze that led to an increase in sugar in foods in like the 80s and shit. It's like no wonder Americans are Blast. so overweight. Bill. Every man should like make we've literally son. just ingrained into people to eat everything and everything to eat is bad for you. It's like why are so many people unhealthy? Well it's like because society pushed that onto them and the deregulation of markets and all that shit like that was doomed to fail from the start <laughs> mm. kicked out to Ruby. that's fine we'll send you to villainous villainous I want to get the puppeteer. I'm gonna actually buy that tile. Bellamy, thank you for the raid. How are you? How was your stream? I was in there for a little bit, and then I was like, I need to get ready for my stream, and then actually stream. Give a shout out to Bellamy. I'm sure everybody. If you don't follow Bellamy already. Melmy is great. It was fun? Hell yeah. I'm currently eating um, not vegan food because um, I'm poor and hungry. And don't have a lot of options of cooking, so. Being poor sucks. Life is life, I get it, yeah. Bellamy readjust subscribed. Lotrek Lotrek gifted a tier one sub Lotrek, to Bellamy. Thank you for gifting a sub May to Bellamy. Gift subs in the channel. Ugh. That's like I could I could technically do vegan options, but uh, when it comes to delivery I can't get, you know, two burgers, fries and drinks for twelve dollars. <laughs> I'd get like a sandwich for twelve dollars. And considering my caloric intake for the last, like, six months has been maybe a thousand calories if I'm lucky. Because I've not been uh, taking care of myself because it costs money to take care of oneself. Mm. You don't have to justify yourself. I know. I just feel bad though, because like I don't want to eat animals, but I need to eat. <laughs> That's why I have my own home with my own ability to cook and all that. It was super easy to eat cheap. 
but when you don't have that option, it becomes very, very expensive. That being said, though, go vegan if you can. Track. Thank you for gifting a sub to SHRN666 just subscribed. Lodrek Lodrek gifted a tier 1 sub to SHRN666. They have given 9 gift subs in the channel. Is wacky. Oh no. Oh no. Did I have do I have it set at that? Oh no. Oh no, I don't think I changed I I was playing around with ads. Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. I need to go check that. I don't know. Cause like I didn't stream for two weeks and I uh I was checking like Add revenue based on what, um... Lotrek, thank you for Austic gifting a sub to Ostic Van. Subscribed. Lotrek, Lotrek gifted a tier 1 sub to Ostic Van. They have given 10 gift subs in the channel. <clears throat> oh god, how do I... Settings... Stream. Oh god, now I'm trying to remember. Channel? Oh my god. Why do I not remember? Is it an affiliate? Yes. Yeah, okay, so I have it set to three minutes every hour. <clears throat> Which is not what I meant to do. No, I have it one and a, one minute thirty every thirty minutes. All right, we'll do a one minute every 20 minutes. <clears throat> but honestly, you know what? Granted, I would get a higher revenue split, but I don't get a ton of... Most, most viewers aren't... Um, Our, our subs, so we'll just, you know, we'll do 30 seconds every hour. There we go. Crypto ad? Ugh, gross. Well, now, at least for a month, you won't have to deal with crypto ads. All right. So what are we at? So we're building a campus. Yeah, production in this city is bonkers. Look at that. I can build a man in arms in one turn, and that's not even from like production overflow. Hell yeah. And we can get puppeteer, which doubles the amount of envoys. More like false profit. Hell yeah. Solid pun, 10 out of 10. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I was gonna... Ooh, I got Niter. Okay, so I didn't get any, um... Iron, but I got I got Niter, so that's nice. So I might push for like what an industrial era war. Knock out. Uh, well, I don't want to fully knock out Catherine. That's the problem. When you go in for culture victories, completely destroying a sieve is bad. Because you basically have to make the same amount of tourism, but you can't get any from the civilization you destroyed. So it's kind of... It makes it a lot harder. It is very possible to do, though. I have done it. It's just like... Annoying. God, I have so many great writers. <laughs> When's the cookie clicker stream? Um, yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I love the fact that um, Korea got me to go into a war, so and I have zero intention on fighting. I don't even think she really gave me anything for j joining in on her war. Oh, I can get an alliance. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If I stay in a cultural alliance with Vietnam, I can get two cities in here. <laughs> and because, because cultural alliances, your loyalty no longer affects one another, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing that. It's a bit cheeky. It's a bit cheeky, but what can I say? I'm a cheeky motherfucker. Oh, actually, do you want to give me spices? Yeah, 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 cool. I get amenities from that. Oh, that's so, that's so funny. So yeah, now I'm going to forward settle. Even though that top city is going to be terrible. Pop out a couple settlers. Let's get mass production banking. Let's get this night of mine. Probably an ass up because my mind's getting Who took Atusa from me? Who the fuck took Atusa from me? There are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. Ooh, yeah. Theater Square, adjacency, very nice. 23 gold per turn, first great writer points. I have plenty of great writers. I'm sorry, Hattusa is mine? I will keep Hattusa, thank you very much. Look at that, I have so many great writers right now. Um, yeah, let's get Curator right away. Yeah, Hattusa is so necessary. Like, I literally have zero horses, zero iron in my sieve. Like, I, I need it. Plus, I need to keep it as a buffer between Paris and I. 
Like, I got really fucking lucky this time. Like, I don't have a ton of space to spread out my empire, but I have a really great buffer. And, ooh, ooh, I'm just realizing... The loyalty from these two will help keep, keep each other from flipping. Means I would need pre slop or to peace out. Uh... Oh, I could get iron from that too. Okay, you know what? It's not bad. It's not a bad idea. I feel I feel like I'm Russia right now because Russia gets tons of great writers too. I'm just sitting on like so many great writers. One charge left. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's get that. Yeah, the music's great. I think it is uh, Vietnam. Vietnam, there is like a bug where Vietnam's music can like literally overpower every other music. I definitely want to settle there, because then I can get olives. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a ship. Better than hearing French music, true. Actually, let's transfer you to Pasagade. Unless it was Daft Punch. Is Daft Punch? Da Daft Punch? Daft Punk French? Are they French? I didn't know Daft Punk was wee wee. Still have a comfortable lead on Singapore. Mm. I wouldn't get control of candy, but mm. I could get control of Brussels, though. Yeah, let's get Brussels. That's so weird, I never knew they were French. Do this first. It's a it's a bold move. It's a bold move. Can't say it's a good move, but it's a bold move. Also, gonna need to make sure I have enough money to immediately buy. Um. Fuck, what are those called? Monuments to uh, add more loyalty pressure to them. Um, what should I build in here? Well, a builder to fix what just fucking happened in here. Jesus. Then we'll get uh, amphitheater. In here.
Okay, so Preslav is not Susan by. Okay, cool, cool, cool. A diplomat is a man who. A diplomat is a man who. That's who. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. Doesn't ma matter what victory I go for, whenever Big Ben appears in the monuments, I'm compelled to make it. Hell yeah. Big Ben's actually a wonder in 6-6. Six, six. Um, way down here. An economics. And it's very good to build because it gives you an economic policy slot. Big Ben. Um... Forbidden City, the military one that I never build. I don't know where it is. And yeah, increases your gold amount by a certain percentage. Yeah, it gives you a hundred percent in the base game, uh, but with the Gathering Storm or Rise and Fall, one of those decreased it to 50% uh, if you have that DLC. Uh, which, yeah, I usually have a huge gold treasury in the games where I build it, so... Yeah, you go from like 10,000 gold to 1,500 gold, 15,000 gold, and it's like... <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yes, please. Build a library. I need to bribe you again. Do not attack me. I'm gonna send you. Oh no 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 no! I don't I don't I don't trust you to go through the water. Always in a dark age and rise and fall like help. So the trick to getting not in dark ages. Um, and Dark Ages aren't bad, actually. Uh, if you're in, if you play with the Dramatic Ages mode, it's bad. But in regular game mode, um, honestly, getting a Dark Age and then going for a Golden Age is incredibly broken OP, especially with not Georgia. Is it Poland or is it Georgia? Georgia or Poland? I can't remember which one. Where you also, it might be Poland, where you also get the normal age. Uh, benefits. Incredibly, incredibly broken. Don't believe in science, only war. <laughs> Well, there's your problem. <clears throat> uh, let's move up there. Turn no mana arms just in case. Though I will say, I'm sorry, who the fuck? Vietnam? Excuse you? Do not convert my... It, no, do not convert my cities. I'll send you an embassy, though. Do not convert my cities. How fucking dare. Oh yeah, I should... Yeah, I got enough to get both the apostles. Uh... 
do it. It's a bold move. Uh, ooh, cut to go in. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. We're not really going for that kind of victory. No, let's do Op and Donna. Let's do Op and Donna. Let's get... Uh, my culture is actually really good right now, so let's go science. Yeah, my culture is just destroying everyone else. Holy shit. Let's start with the religion. Let's get a let's get a Let's get two things. Over to Shabak. It is the mark of an educator. It is the mark of an educator. always wins unless you are like have an overbearing number of civs that don't have any melee units like if you're on like a 1v1 against Sidia she won't go melee obviously um I have a feeling they're gonna choose this one's a bit of a crapshoot let's say scientific because they keep fighting over the scientific city-states, so... Though they might vote against that because of that. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, I was right. And yeah, melee. It's almost always melee. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't ignite it. But we it. I don't know why that song just popped up. You in must my not lose head, faith in you. Did okay, yeah. Uh oh. Rosenberg's H bomb, sugar ray, pepper and jam, and the king and the in the kitchen in the rye. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Whatever. And let us do Let's siphon some gold. I don't think, uh... Catherine de' Medici needs any gold. Yeah, I know. She doesn't need to be able to fund her war. Ooh, Vatican City. Oh, hey, we got the light, uh, the harbor. Let's get a lighthouse. Actually, let's get a monument and then lighthouse. Just repeat route. Alright, 
funny if those be five right away. Good, good. Good, yeah. Let's repair. Let's start repairing. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that. Frickin' three culture because of the adjacent. I don't know. Tactics mean doing what you can. Oh, that fucked me up real good. I think I'm actually gonna go for a university first and then archaeological museum. Minus nine loyalty. Actually, well, no, because that's fine. Whatever is contrary to nature. My ancestor Darius made this Apadana, but it was burnt down. How? Got the Apadana. Let's go to university. Let's go. Not archaeo archaeological museum. Let's go art museum. Got two envoys from that. Hattusa's really good. No, let's just send a couple to Taruga because we're about to get university. Alright, <clears throat> here we go, ready? Found city, losing loyalty, but... As you can see, that minus two. That was minus nine, now it's minus two. Boom. And then... We're gonna purchase a monument in both cities. Oops. And now the loyalty is so eight. Full loyalty, full loyalty. I think. Unless I misread that. Ooh, I might have misread that. Uh, yeah, let's get ancient walls. Let's get ancient walls. Yeah, look at that. Full fucking loyalty. Mmm, you'll love to see it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, no one expects the sneaky settle. Him that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my god, and he shall go no more out. Damn. Damn. Um... You know what? Let's send one to Priestlaw for now. Um... Very cool, very cool. 
gucken. Let's go reform the coinage. <coughs> Can I peace out with you? Yeah? Will you give me money for it? No. Give me any diplo- No. Oh, I'm not giving you any- Never mind. Yeah, let's just peace out. No, that's fine. Having seen a non-market economy, I suddenly understood much better what I liked about a market economy. Boo, fuck you, Esther Dyson. Markets are bad. Markets suck. I think I'm gonna end here soon, chat. My ass is getting sore. Ugh. Uh, but I will, you know what, I'll be back tomorrow try and force myself and we'll, we'll continue the game then um yeah that's what we'll do hello risk inverse coming in right as i'm like oh, i think i'm gonna quit here soon Take the ponytail down. It's starting to hurt my head. Ugh. There we go. You know, we'll go. We'll go five more minutes. We'll end at exactly uh, eight o'clock. <coughs> How you doing, Risk? Welcome in. What do I even look? Oh yeah, you can you can kinda see it. What can be labeled ta Boop. I'm just so happy that I can stream Civ 6 from my PC. 12 gold per turn? Yeah. No, I'm not using my niter. Oh, need more money. Yeah, I, I need to build Amundsen Scott Research Center on stream because it has penguins. When you build it, little penguins come out from behind a building and start walking around in the snow. It's so cute. If you're the bank, one hundred dollars. Divine Dev Studios, thank you for the eight month resub. Divine <clears throat> Dev Studios just subscribed. Mxchlovk, mxchlo smile night for one jam. Mxchlo smile, mxchlovk. 
Yeah, these little, little penguins, and they eventually, they, they come out, and they just walk around, and it's so cute. It's like a completely unnecessary um, wonder to build, because it's really late game, and if you need a 20 to 40% boost in your science that late in the game, you're probably going to be losing anyway. Oh my god, I can breathe now. Uh, I think this city-state knocked out the barbarian encampment, so... They're still saying they're bribed for 20 turns, though, and it's been more than 20 turns, so maybe they're just permanently glitched? I'm not gonna complain. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, my hair's getting so long. I can. It's almost long enough that I could like tie it under my chin. <laughs> uh. Marie Catherine de French. And because she was so beautiful, they called her Princess Goldilocks. Princess Goldilocks. Upon his So that's interesting. Are they just like forever not going to attack me then? Because I bribed them but their encampment got knocked out? Yeah, it's still just 20 turns. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. If you will be so good and generous as to let Cuz obviously normally when when I It is a stump bribe a, a barbarians. I, I expect them to turn into a, a city state. So interesting. Alright, so I think that is a good stopping point now. I will hit next turn, so we'll see if everything I did that turn. And then we're going to raid out. Um, I don't know why fucking France is pissy at me. I had a spy. You killed it. Fuck off. That's why she's mad. She's mad I don't have a spy. Um, Alright, so we're going to save game. And this is our Persia stream game. Exit to desktop. We're going to go to the goodbye screen. Well, actually, first we're going to go into this. We're going to play some music. I got these teeth for a reason. I know that it's life or death. I One time the new yeah, again. yeah, look. I lie down and you kiss my forehead. I tell you I'm just Look. So I was playing a game as Tokugawa. I was very peaceful, didn't go to war once. I was I I wanted like fully isolate. Like that was the idea. Because with Tokugawa like internal trade routes, so it's like the idea that you you just build a bunch of districts, build up your population, and all that. So that's how I played. I got my science victory screen. I went to I went to space. And I wanted to build some nukes and nuke some people. Because Korea So here's the thing. I was friends with every single civilization in the game except korea no matter what i did i kept just throwing money at her trade routes at her i threw everything at her she just did not want to be friends with me so you don't want to be my friend you don't get to exist <laughs> yeah genocide time um yeah all right 
So let's let's read it. Let's read it. Who am I gonna read? Probably let's let's be real. It's probably twenty seven dollars. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see who's on them. The winner passes, my jaw unclenches, the ferns outside my window. Okay, who am I following? Who am I following? That is there are things in your life that you were made to run away from, but it's not your grief or your pain or any other kind of love. I let go of my hold on a happy end. Back into a corner, there's no horizon where I would sell despair. Now, uh, I'm yeah, free. $27. I put my trust in broken milk crates underneath the trestle by the vet's hall. I call for open mark ball. Find your mouth under the blankets. This might be the last night I can taste country duets and inhalants. I put my trust in broken milk crates underneath the trestle by the vet's hall. I call for open mark ball. Alright, reach day stream out of five, five being the best stream I've ever seen, one being the worst stream I've ever seen. If you don't read five, you gotta tell me why. Jamie, thank you for the twenty dollars. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll finish up our game. Uh, big shout out to Pigeon Pit. Listen to the music. Queer. Tommy. Chris, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. Y'all are y'all are too kind. Okay, so we're gonna rate in twenty seven dollars. I mean, I rate into them all the time, so y'all should know. So it talks about politics, usually U.S. Um, and yeah, we'll be back tomorrow to to stream some more. So. Doodaloo.